Sometimes the discrimination isn't so obvious, but it's the daily conversations you have with people and the jokes your friends make. It's really small stuff, but it's just building up. If you're in the supermarket and someone pushes you, and if they don't say sorry, they are just mean. Um, like that small stuff, um, really like, um, if it's happened all the time, every day, that is, uh, gonna affect you somehow. People would say, oh, Eva, do you have computers in the Czech Republic? Or do you have internet in the Czech Republic? Or do you have hot running water in the Czech Republic? I mean, it's a joke, it's funny, but the more you repeat it, then it more and more cuts into you. It's not doing anything for you other than making you depressed and just making you just want to stay home and not leave anywhere. I'm not meeting new people. I tried to speak with one lady in the public transport. It was a senior lady and I thought it would be nice to tell her that she has a very nice head. So I told her, oh, you look nice uh, today. You have a very pretty head. And she was surprised and she started to say, I don't have money. I will call the police now. And I start to laugh and I say, I don't need your money. I just, I just wanted to talk to you. My friend had already warned that his dad is a little bit of a um, nationalist and we were sitting around the living room and the topic of foreigners came up and he made a couple of negative comments in passing um, to which my friend said that the lease is actually from Eastern Europe um, and the dad just said well you're one of the good ones you have assimilated so well you speak English so nicely. I was interrailing we went a bit outside of München and we were traveling a bit and you get all those looks always when you speak another language. <laughs> I think that I greatly benefit from looking like a Western European or perhaps even Scandinavian, which people think is like the good foreigner background. I know that that's been a great advantage to me being able to assimilate and people treat me really pleasantly and uh, politely at first. Last year when I was in Prague, my friend who was with me was a hijabi. Her experience was completely, completely different. She was walking in the street like a, the loner who wore this um she felt uncomfortable with all the people looking at her i was working in a um, major london museum um and i was very proud of my job and this uh, random person uh, approached me and purely based on my um, name badge and the surname obviously looking very non native, um, he started suggesting that people like me um, steal money from the institution and if I'm not, not doing it already I might as well start because that's what everyone expects of me. They love beer and alcohol is like a big part of their culture and I don't drink and I would end up like this with tea or water like and I didn't mind but I do not like peer pressure I don't like the why are you not doing this? I was looked at weirdly that I didn't even try. Like people was like, well, just one sip, but I wasn't interested at all. I was trying to go with the car sharing, um, like to, to Brandenburg uh, to visit my friend. And um, the guy wrote me back, where are you from? And I said, like, I'm from Syria. And they, they said something like, you should go back to Syria and just like rebuild everything you destroyed. I fell down because of the situation. I was feeling um, like depressed somehow. I had one gentleman in a public space, patio setting, restaurants, yell out, you're so burnt, just out of the blue. I decided to sit next to this woman. For whatever reason, she turned to me and she just said, brown swine, and then got really mad, got up and walked away. And I was just, um, I was very near tears. I really wanted to burst into tears at that point, but I just kept my cool and I was like, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. But then you you remember this, right? You think about this uh, for a very long time. I noticed the staring, the whispering, the pointing, <laughs> um, the disgust look looks on their faces um that's where i feel like i'm an alien here i don't i don't belong here 
rare times that someone does smile at you or they nod your head at you your heart is so happy because somehow you've been seen somehow you've been noticed i think it would be very nice if people would just open their mind and try to understand uh, these people why they moved to their country why they are speak differently why they are eating differently being a migrant would be easier if everyone recognized each other's differences if all European countries learn more about each other's cultures. Being a migrant uh, would be easier if there would be more migrants. If there were many more opportunities to integrate into our new societies. Being a migrant would be easier if people were kinder and more open-minded. Oops, never. I don't know if it's... Oh. Is that good?